Yo, what's up guys? We got Pokemon here. Today we're going to be using Starmie in the OU tier. Expanding Force Choice Spec Starmie. This was actually suggested, I believe, by Trevor Soraya. Uh, my bad if I butcher your last name. But I built a team around Starmie super quickly, but uh, this should not be hasty. This should be timid. So we got timid Starmie, Expanding Force, Hydro Pump, Ice Beam, and Thunderbolt. We have Analytic because even though Analytic typically uh, is only powered... If you are last to move in the turn, if the opponent switches in on an analytic attack, it's also boosted. So that's pretty cool because it gets buffed with the uh, choice specs as well. We have Terrain Extender, Top of Lele, which I really wanted to make Choice Scarf, but I figured Terrain Extender makes a lot more sense uh, because I'll have limited turns anyway. Especially in a terrain-filled metagame with Rillaboom running around. So uh, because these two are Psychics and Fairy types, Magnezone makes a lot of sense getting rid of Ferrothorn, getting rid of Corviknight. Uh, so I ran Sub Iron Defense here. Uh, we have a Dragonite, and uh, I also like the idea of Corviknight and, and Skarmory being gone. So, and this also meant like these three using these three. Yeah, I have a Starmie, uh, and yeah, I have Body Press and Focus Blast as well on Lele. But Heatran is still a pain to switch into. Magmastone will two a KO Starmie anyway, and if it's special defensive, I'm not going to KO it with Hydro Pump, unfortunately. So Dragonite makes sense as a switching. I uh, would DD Roos. Uh, they have a Heal Bell set on Smogon. I just decided to get rid of the Heal Bell and put Earthquake because Heatran is a threat. I just took their EV spread though, which didn't have like max EVs. They had like four left over. Then I have a Blissey right here because we lose to Needle King, even though if it's, uh, well, we can't switch into Needle King. It's very hard to switch into. There's like three switches in OU anyway that switch into Needle King. But it's very difficult to deal with. And if it has Focus Punch, it'll be a problem regardless. But uh, I put Seismic Toss, Toxic, and Softball. Now my last move, I didn't want to put Teleport. I was debating Stealth Rock. Uh, I was like, oh man, I don't know what to put on this. So I just put Copycat. I, I might, I even put Mimic originally and just changed it to Copycat. Sure, I was going to put Earthquake for Heatran too, but I have 50 base attack and I'm going to do like 10. But uh, maybe I can Copycat and Earth Power if I'm Magma Storm and then they'll beat. <laughs> uh, the, the, the side toss is better anyway. But uh, we'll see what this move. This move is probably going to change. Then I put Ditto. I use Ditto again. Uh, I'm using Ditto again because I wasn't really confident on speed control for the team. Uh, I didn't have a Stealth Rocker. I mean, Blissey can copycat Stealth Rocker if they want to. Uh, but I wasn't really too confident on speed control for the team. And there wasn't something I really liked. Like, Dragapult was the first one that came to mind. But I don't want to use Scar Dragapult. And uh, opposing Kartana could be annoying. Eh, kind of. Depending on how they play. So, I opted for the Ditto as a catch-all. The, oh, I need Stealth Rock. Oh, maybe this can get knocked off. And if I'm fighting a fight, uh, if I'm fighting a fatter team then it'll be better for me so we'll see how it's happening but we're gonna pause it guys we're gonna look for a battle if you guys do enjoy these uh, videos feel free to leave a like and subscribe on my way to 261,000 subscribers and i will be right back right we're back also if you want this uh, team get, check out my website pokemon.com i'm fighting teddy oh, i'm about to get pumped this game <laughs> we'll see <laughs> we'll see uh so obviously as teddy said right there um, Hydro Pump is very good. The resist is Dragapult, which gets two it KO'd. However, this slow king, I'm just running some calcs. It, uh, it takes nothing. It takes absolutely nothing. However, expanding force is so strong. And this is not calcing analytic. So in order to calc analytic on this thing, I gotta give this thing like plus six speed. And it's still not calcing analytic. That is, uh, that is very unfortunate. So we're gonna give it this. Thank you. Alright, so. Analytic expanding force actually two it KO's slow king. So it can't switch into me, and that's if they're running that spread. Uh, so we got to be careful about that. They obviously have a heat train as well, which I'm a little bit uh, worried about too. Um, Lele is really strong here too, and Dragonite actually just wins with Corviknight being gone. So uh, they have a few uh, really, really good responses to uh, Magnezone as well. Um, but I think what I really want to do early is just kind of just see their sets and go from there. Like I want to see if this Clefable has Trick, for instance. So uh, we'll go Ditto. As they go a Galarian Slowking, let's see what they have they're running. So they have Future Sight, Slack Off. Oh, so they're not... Okay, that's awesome. So they're not Assault Vest. Um, well, most likely they're not Assault Vest. So that's amazing. Uh, I could just throw a Future Sight here. Don't really have to predict around that too much. Because they only have Scalds uh, and everything. And... Wow, them not being AV is actually really good for me too. So we can go Blissey on this thing. Uh, technically, they can sit in on me if they really want to. As they go pull. Peep this play, peep this play, peep this play. Peep this, oh my god, peep it, peep it, peep it, peep it. I'm, I'm U-turning that. I knew they were going to go for U-turn. <laughs> Yo! I'm dying, man. I'm dying. I'm not. 
I'm not even gonna kill. But that was great. I don't give a damn. That was amazing. Like, I'm not even gonna kill Corviknight, but that was incredible. That was actually incredible, bro. Yo. Oh my god. I don't give a damn if y'all leave a like for that. I'm about to go on my alts and leave a like for that play. Because that play was freaking phenomenal. <laughs> that working out was great, man. I'm really happy. So anyway, we get rid of their giant threat. Uh, one of their giant threats to my expanding force. Uh, my hydro pumps are also going to hit incredibly hard now, which is great. Um, probably one of their bigger threats, though, is still the Clefable. If it's Calm Mine, I don't think it'll be Stealth Rock either. And there's the Heat Train that comes out uh, to be expected. I could body press this for a little bit of damage. I'm debating doing that because I do have a, a Dragonite as well. And rocks are pretty good. So I'm going to go for body press. If they Magma Storm, so be it. And in that case, I at least get to bring out the GOAT and go for uh, Specs Hydro Pumps now. So this is where uh, they may Toxic me, but maybe they're offensive just based on their team. Anyway, Specs Hydro Pumps for the sure the play. It's analytic boosted. It's going to do a lot to everything. I have no idea what the Slack Off Slow King runs. Starmy, Starmy, Starmy. Now, I know the second one's going to miss because you can't hit a first one, get all excited, and hit a second one. Pokemon just doesn't work that way. Life doesn't work that way either. So, <laughs> it's okay to be optimistic, but expect realism too. So, <gasps> life is just crazy, man. What's I'm about to play the lottery. Uh, anyway, Dragapult comes out. Um, this guy got pumped. I'm assuming they're just going to U-turn. Uh, Dragonite, my own Dragonite wins the game, so I'm just going to make the Blissey play here. As they go for Dragon Darts, and we know that they're choice. Uh, I do have a Lele that can come in, so I'm just going to softball it up as they make the same play. That's completely fine. Uh, I bring in the Goat right now. Should I double to Starmie? I don't think I need to double to Starmie, but I did. I guess it went through. So, cool. Um, so we know they're Banded Dragon Ball. I should have uh, known based on the damage. Uh, but we throw off a Specs Hydro Pump now, and we get a kill. Still, which is awesome. Um, if they give me, I think they have to give me Landorus because if they give me Clefable, they're gonna get smashed. All right, so they end up giving me the uh, the Heatran, which is awesome. Uh, Dragapult comes out. What are you going for? U turn? Dragon darts? Phantom Force? I'm trying to think what you what would I go for in this situation? You have to U turn, right? Because some, then something's gonna take a Hydro Pump. What does Banded Dragon... What does this thing run? I wish this thing got, uh... Poltergeist. <laughs> It'd be pretty busted, though. What does Choice Band run? Hey, come on, man. I'm trying to learn OU. Man. Choice Band Dragapult. Potential sets. Give me something. <laughs> I'm just trying to think like what's the the strongest play right here. I guess it's still to go Lele. As they go for Phantom Force right there, I can easily go Dragonite, eat it up. And I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double out into my. Uh... I wasn't expecting that to come in, but I'm gonna double out to Starmie. Now I think that the raid they didn't bring this thing in. I'm just gonna click Expanding Force here, get my kill. Hey, homie is out. Let's go. I'm assuming you expanding force now. I can still lose the clef. That's the problem. I can still lose the clef. I still think I go out to, to Lele here. As they go for expanding force. Actually, it doesn't even... I don't think it, it does double. So it's not going to kill D-Knight, but I'll have to roost after. I'm going to have to win some 50-50s versus this guy at the end. Alright, I'm going to go back to D-Knight. Alright, so we go for roost here. I basically Dragon Dance now. Because I can go for roost again. I think that I, I mean, I guess depending on rolls. Should I just try and KO them? 
Hmm. Man, I should just go for another DD, right? Oh, never mind. They killed me there. That's a damn shame, because Clef is going to be able to come out. But I do have Taunt, so I'm going for Dragon Darts. Uh, I'm assuming their Clef is Calm Mine. A um, little bit annoying, but I do have Taunt, like I said, Taunt Psy Shock, plus Expanding Force. So they should be able to beat this 1v1. And I have enough turns. As they crit me immediately. Never mind. Teddy, why are you so lucky, bro? <laughs> that bad. Well, provided he doesn't paralyze me, I should, in theory, win the game right here. Didn't you have to Thunderbolt para me? Well, I beat Teddy. GG, bro. We got to see Copycat Blissey put in some crazy amount of work right there. And we also got to see um, Expanding Force Speed Wild 2. Kind of sucks they crit my, uh, my Lele because basically I taunted, then I clicked Psy Shock, and then I won the game with Expanding Force. And then it got close here because uh, depending on like, not really drops, but I think Teddy should have went for Thunderbolt there to try and get a para, and then a full para on Ditto. But yeah, that was that, that was an insane thing. I'm so excited about that. I, I am so excited about that. I hope, I hope y'all enjoy the rest of this live. I might just throw it away. That's it. That's it. This is one of them lives for the books. This is one of them lives for the books. All right. I'll be right back, guys. I can lose every game, and I don't care. Now we fight the matchup I didn't really want to, which is Slowking. Um, Weavile is a giant threat. Holy crap, man. Weavile's a giant threat. This guy got a lot of threats, man. They got a lot of threats. And the thing about Starmie is that it can only 2 it KO Slowking if it's poisoned, or like status, or any way, or, or take Stealth Rock, which obviously would have to do boots. Not the case. They do have a Zapdos and a Weavile. I... So like I said, I don't care. I won that last game, and I'm hyped about that. This one is on matchup looking extremely tough. Looking extremely tough. Um, but, you know, where there's a will, there's a way. If I can Toxic Sloking, for instance, or, or deal with Weavile, that'd be a really nice uh, start for me. I'm assuming you go like Garchomp or, or Sloking Lee, but I want to. I still like Ditto a lot because Ditto means that if they go Pull or something, I can just see their set exactly. Let's see what we got here, buddy. Shadow Ball, U Turn, uh, Heatran looks pretty much like a safer play. My opponent could go for they could also go zap this. I don't think they'd ever risk Dragapult turn one, even if you were choice scarf, uh, because Pult's really strong versus my squad. Some of you turn here, expect them to go heat turn exactly. And uh, I have an option I could throw away Blissey to their Magma Storm and just click Seism Toss a couple times. And the reason I do that is because it opened up my Starmie a little bit more. Or I just go Dragonite and play it a little bit safe. Now this Zapdos that's most likely coming in probably has Voltage. I'm always going to click Earthquake though. I'm not going to predict here. Uh, if my opponent's a greedy type, they may go for Toxic. And if I can catch any, you know, if I can if I can catch any opening like that or anything like that, that'd be great. So please don't be Volt Switch. Even though what do we evolve Volt Switch makes so much sense. I hate this. This damn Weavile is going to be annoying. Yeah. I'm in a reactionary, like, mode, so it sucks. Uh, I shouldn't die to one hit. I'm a, I'm a, I have max HP, max defense. I'm a, I'm a. So I'm going to softball once and see if they go for knock and how much they do. They don't do that much. All things considered, they don't do that much. I'm actually going to copycat here, hoping they go Heatran. Because they can't 2 KO me. And if I get rid of Heatran's leftovers, this copycat technique is fire. If I get rid of Heatran's leftovers, it actually opens up the, the game a lot for me. That should be banded if it did 65%. I'm going to assume that's banded. Plus, getting rid of their choice band will also help me out. But I hope they go Heatran. Because if they go Heatran, uh, that means that later Blissey can do something to them. Um, just getting rid of the item on anything would be good here. As well. So, yeah, that's Heatran's like the main one I hope for. I'm really having... <laughs> nice. Uh, so we get to get rid of Heatran's leftover. Oh, I went for soft blood. I'm so dumb. I'm not dumb, but like I mean, it was it was not the strongest on my part. Uh, I wonder if they go for taunt. Okay. So I mean, I have no reason not to click this. I don't actually think I lose to them one v one in this scenario. I'm, I'm so bad because Copycat went for my soft blood there. That was my fault. I don't use Copycat enough. But. I mean, I lose nothing by clicking size and toss again. 
as they go chopper. Okay, so they're just making it so I can expanding force things, which is pretty cool. Uh, leftovers chomp. I'm just right out. I have no idea what move you're going for. Damn, man, I almost wish... I'm still going hard later, but I almost wish they, uh... <laughs> Alright, we'll make the Blissey play here, because they should go Slow King always. Your leftovers, you can't touch me. I, I didn't. I went Lele just in case they SD'd and I could bluff a Choice Scarf, but yeah, awesome. So we get him Blissey now, we're going to click Toxic. That's going to be the first step towards Thunderbolt Starmie actually breaking something on their team. Cool, they're going to teleport, most likely, yep. So that Toxic should be there, I don't see any Heal Bellers on their team. No Clerics, big Weavile can come out too. Um, if I get... A toxic off on Garchomp as well. This looks like it's sub though. I'm still going for toxic. He did so much damage, bro. Why he did that a million percent, bro? All right, so we got a toxic off on Garchomp. Awesome. I can threaten this thing back with a scale shot right after, and Blissey can always come in on Slowking, so I'm not worried. In terms of what's expendable, if I get a Toxic off on Zapdos, I suppose I can win with Dragonite. Dragonite can win anyway versus Zapdos if it's Volt Switch, but it isn't Volt Switch, it's hard double. So, I think we make the Dragonite play. And I'm assuming now you'd go for like your scale shot stuff. It's pretty weak though. I just doubled back trying to get more poison damage off on them. I'm, I'm okay with them going out into Zapdos here, especially because I get a little Moonblast off. And if they want to go Slowking, I can at least taunt it, weakening them a bit, and then expanding force from there. So That Garchomp with leftovers, is that just SD leftovers? Like rock, uh, like Stone Edge crap? Because it might, it might be, it might be. There's E-Tran. Now, if I hit Focus Blast, I can too a KO them. Uh, just Dragonite's the all-around better play, though. Yeah, Dragonite's easily the all-around better play. And that Earthquake, uh, luckily I get damage on Weavile. Awesome, so that's in range of Thunderbolt 2. They could knock here, but there's a chance that I stay in. So I'm going to go Zone on what I'm hoping to be Triple Axel. As they crash. Pretty similar though, pretty similar. We'll just press. Nice! Get a bit of damage off on Heatran too. Uh, too bad Leftovers doesn't show me being faster, that'd be awesome. But, that's amazing. Things are going alright. And, dodge too. So that's great as well. Still gonna go for Earthquake here. Maybe they're fearing me to Dragon Dance at this point. As they go Zapdos. Mmm. Kinda want an earthquake again. But I can now click Thunderbolts with my, my Starmie, so and my Ditto is actually looking very scary. Like when I copy back. So I think the play is actually go Lele. Spec Shadow Ball would knock me out. I'm gonna Moonblast because U-turn makes the most sense for my opponent. Because I can get him Blissey and heal. I, I, I suppose it would suck to lose Lele. If they're Choice Scarf, I don't think they, they knock me out. I think they're definitely Specs. They can't Draco here. They'd be demons if they draco I still think for sure I click this play here. I do think they U-turn. The other no-risk play for me would be going Dragon uh, Dragapult. Dragonite, excuse me. But I think I just, I just click this. They may just do it, but I want to be able to heal my Blissey. So they do go for the Specs uh, Shadow Ball there. I get to bring out Blissey now and go for the Soft World. Uh, and Blissey's actually extremely threatening now that they've knocked off an item already. Uh, it, it, again, it sucks to lose that Mon. What's 37% of Weavile? One oh four, damn. I'm a softball once. Oh my god, it's beat up. Of course it is. 
Didn't do that much, though. It only hits four times because of status, so that's awesome. I'm just going to toss. Shoot, why not? Get a little bit of chip going. A little bit more chip going. I lose my uh, terrain extend, uh, my terrain, basically, but they're still really, really, really weak. Beat up is interesting. Just softball once, see how much they do. I seem to be immune to my opponent's flinch, so that's awesome. I'm a toxic. Because if Weavile dies, I say if Weavile or Heatran dies, that'd be great. Uh, we're going to toss. Always. Again, if Heatran dies, amazing. Uh, if Weavile dies, amazing. They expected me to go zone there, obviously. Should just toss, actually, instead of toxic. Because I would have bred them at 4%. But they, they have to go for Magma Storm, then they have to hit, and they have to go for everything. So I think what my opponent should be doing is going Slow King. I wish I got the turn right with Lele that they actually U-turn because I think what they would allow me to do is Moonblast and a Heatran and then Focus Blast. But they're, again, they're letting me weaken Slow King, so I'll take it. But uh, technically they can just infinitely switch back and forth. Hmm. I'd SD here. Earthquake works too. It does a lot, but Slucking dies to Analytic Thunderbolt. I'm going for it. I'm hella going for Analytic Thunderbolt. If I can get rid of Slucking, they can't. They can at least can't regen. Why would you give me Garchomp there, dude? Why? If I KO Garchomp and Weavile gets a little bit lower, you're gonna lose to uh, maybe, maybe, maybe I'm overestimating because they're gonna. They're, Blissey is really difficult for them to deal with. Blizzy is extremely difficult for them to deal with. But then again, so is a scale shotter. Oh, that's a cool set. I have no reason. I, I can't not click this. I suppose their thought process was if I went for Hydro Pump, it would KO Garchomp if I was Specs, and then Slowking would be too KO'd. So I'll go off that. I just wanted to like get rid of Slowking, if possible. Alright, so when in doubt. This could be Hurricane. When in doubt, dragging it out. That's it. Literally. Quite literally. Dragon item. <laughs> That's all you could do, right? That is all we could do. They still suffer with this. They're only doing 30% as well. So. Yeah, I mean, a para was bound to happen. Yeah. That's it. <sighs> This is, what I thought, this is how I thought the game would be. I thought they'd go Slow King and Para Round, but they gave me a, a multiple options and I just didn't call them right. So that's my bad. I still have Ditto? Hmm. Can I still Shadow Ball? Can I Shadow Ball win still? Nah. I would have to beat uh, Zapdos. I always have to, um, I always have to Seismic Toss here. Okay. If I U-turn, it doesn't do me. Side and toss again. I suppose they go Garchomp though, just to get a little bit more chip on me. But if they go Slowking, I mean, I'm opening up. Okay, so I get a Toxic off here on Pult at least. So I could KO you. Yep. Nice. I'm gonna softball it up again just in case they choke and go for Draco. Maybe not choke necessarily. I think choke is the wrong play, uh, the wrong term. Nice. So, uh, size and toss one more time. It's looking eats. So I mean, I'm gonna size and toss again. I wonder if they're just trying to outplay like toxics and stuff like that. Because, I mean, they're giving me opportunities. Is that pressure? 
still side you're tossing. Because <laughs> they're giving me too many opportunities here. Battle Toxic on this turn. Nice. Uh, I just ended up tossing just because, like at that point, if they're just gonna give me pull, so be it. Hold on, I'm getting tech. Sorry about that. I wonder if Magnezone can win. Cause I have the toxic off on Garchomp. Magnestorm, Taunt. I think I go Ditto because I don't want them. They could have. They could have Earth Power. No, they're gonna try and get me low. I, I don't want them. I don't want them going right for it. Like at that point. What's their set? I'm about to see what Ditto. Is also if I can get rid of rocks too, I might be able to be in a situation where if I can put up rocks against them as well. Discharge, heat wave. Right, I can afford to defog and then sack. Hard Dragonite. They know I can roost. I'm gonna Earthquake here. Oh, oh, please, 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 please. There we go. All right, so we got that. That was great. I'm still out of range of Magma Storm, I'm pretty sure, too. So we got rid of Weavile. We got rid of Weavile. We have the timer on them now. And Shadow Ball is looking more and more threatening from their own Pokemon. Obviously, though, still pretty scary. I'm not going to lie. It's still pretty scary. It's not It's not looking over yet. <laughs> Maybe. I think my dog was trying to get in here. I always go zone. As a scale shot. Uh, Puka, you trying to get in? You can come in, Puka. Okay, what do I want to do here? I fire fang if anything. Oh, I wish they hit me with that because then I might have been able to knock, I would have been able to knock them out. It's all right. I definitely would have been able to knock them out after the next one though. If I get rid of this. Do I lose too much offensive pressure if I lose this Pokemon? I feel like you fire thing. Okay, awesome, awesome, awesome. I should be trying to bring back Dragonite because Dragonite can win, so I always go zone here. L literally, Dragonite can win, so I always go zone there. The Heat Wave and Ditto Roost a little bit. Okay, I size my toss here. For sure. My Shadow Balls are looking scary, so if maybe Ditto can bring it back, plus, uh, shoot, maybe even Magnezone, depending. Are you going back out, Puka? Okay, no problem. Depending on what they do, that is. My opponent's really making this game a little bit longer than I think it had to be. You'd Magma first, right? Maybe they'd Earth Power because I have Ditto. It looks like they're trying to stall me out of Softballs, which is the right play, but they should be trying to bring in their Teleport, or their Slow King into Dragapult more, basically. That's what I would be doing from that position. I really wish they hit the second scale shot. What? Anticlimatic as hell. Whatever, man. Hey, I don't know why, but we won that. We'll be right back with another game. All right, we got an awesome game. We got an awesome game. Have fun, bro. Versus Fusion. Um, sucks they have a Bisharp. They do have a Glass Gray, which 6 0s me. That's amazing. I love to see, I love to be 6 0 But the thing is, I kind of 6 0 them back with Ditto if they do try and 6 0 me. So that'd be really nice. Um, that Mon is a problem. <laughs> that Mon will destroy me. 
Lele is the only thing with Taunt that stops basically everything in my opinion. They could spec Shadow Ball if they want to. I feel like you shouldn't risk your Dragapult and that I could be potentially Scarf here. But I'll, I'll go Blissey just to be safe, like just in case, because I think they're going Slow King for sure. Or Shadow Balling immediately. Dragon Dance Dragonite is really good if I can get rid of this, but they do have Glass Grey, which probably eats every hit even at plus 5 or 6. Just because of my thing. That thing is bulky, man. I want to use uh, Iron Defense as well. Alright. Well, time to lose them on immediately. You know what? Let's just Moonblast and bluff the Scarf. It's 10%. Got a nice little hit off on them. I'd rather go Ditto right here and throw off a future side of my own. <sighs> Alright, killer. Feel free to take a Pokemon from me. I guess I didn't want to win. Um, yeah, this Mon 6 sells me. And I need this Pokemon so I don't lose to Dragapult or Garchomp or stuff. Hella 6 sells me. This is unfortunate. Um... You have to be choice damn bro, right? right? I'm making the Starmie play. As they go for sub. I can just expanding force a couple times. I think I still go for it because I have Psychic Terrain on my side. Exactly. And we bring out Zone here on Bisharp. And we body press hoping that I don't die. Awesome. Okay, so that means I can click Expanding Force later. And I can still get the, uh, the Skarmory. So I didn't lose Pokemon, luckily. Luckily. Damn it. <laughs> you and your plays. Uh, I still want to try and get... Actually, I don't have to get Skarmory. I think I go right out to you. I don't have to get Skarmory. I'm gonna go future side myself, bro. I'm about to get some future out here. Earthquake is so free for my opponent, it's insane. Starmie's still super good, so I don't want to throw that. I think it's for sure, I just sack zone. As they go for Stealth Rock. Yeah, okay, so I get a nice little future side off on uh, Garchomp, which is amazing. Wow, that was not considered stab. Awesome. <laughs> awesome, the fact that that wasn't considered stab. That's insane to be. Alright, so we bring out Starmie. On Skarmory, exactly, and we click Expanding Force again. I could Hydro Pump here, but I'm not trying to miss. Uh, and if they go Pult, I get a kill. Plus my Lele is, uh, I mean, my uh, my Lele is still bluffing Choice Scarf at this point. I mean, No, it's not. I have Terrain Extender up. Good B, you deserve a good rest. <laughs> That's so awesome. So you definitely U-turn here, for sure. This glass gray is a problem, bro. Is it max speed? Yes, the answer was yes. Yes, it is. <laughs> the answer was yes. Please break this up. You weak Pokemon, thank you. In. Thank you, Dragonite. So I get a kill here, which is awesome. Yep. You're still hella low, so you get two KO'd because it's analytic boosted. 
Sorry, buddy, you are still gonna be two at KO. Yep, just barely, but you are. And that's what matters. I freaking lied, I guess, huh? What are you doing? You forgot that I had terrain extender, buddy. Mmm. Nice. I just clicked toxic repeatedly. They should just crash into me, actually. Why are they sword? I don't think sword dancing is a play. I feel like I'm gonna beat them back with their own mon. Isn't that what's gonna happen? Maybe I'm wrong. Ah, that sucks. I want to force another sub so they'd be low enough to win. So I could win with my uh, my glass tree. Oh, maybe I still do win because they have to kill me here. And then I'm plus three. Alright, so I mean, Ditto gets to come out now. I don't know if I KO them, but if they live on like 2%, I'm going to be really sad because it's all due to the fact that they didn't have to get sub again. Wow, but I also lived on one. <laughs> Yo! GG, I'm about to miss. I'm about to miss. Expanding for Starmie was wild, bro. Expanding for Starmie was so wild. Oof, that boy putting in some work on the highlighter. I hope you guys all enjoyed. Uh, definitely some fun games here. Um, I have no idea what happened in the Lunar game. I think maybe they just gave up versus Blissey. They didn't think they could win. But like I said, my opponent, if they would just, all they have to do is get in Star, uh, Zapdos, pivot into Slow King. And even though Sazen toss two AKOs, pivot back out, pivot back in until it doesn't two AKO and you stall all my stuff. But, my bad. I hope y'all enjoyed uh, Undefeated. Uh, with expanding force army. I will see you guys next time Trevor excellent suggestion uh, It legitimately put in work that first game. I'm, I'm still laughing like in my head. I'm like yeah, I want to put that little clip on Twitter uh, But yeah, I will see you guys next time. Goodbye my friends <laughs>